We just bought a storage unit full of guns for only $660. There's multiple visible at the door and who knows how many more are hidden. Let's do it. It is pouring down rain, so we're going to try our absolute best. Whoa, this tote's heavy to get into here. Look at that just sitting there right in the open for everyone to see. Ah, oh, I can't wait. Let's see. What do we have here? Sleeping bag. There you go. There's your cushion to sit on. <laughs> Thanks. Merry Christmas. What about this right here? Is that just... Ew. Nasty kitchen, nasty kitchen, nasty kitchen. Another sleeping bag. What's in this little box here? Supposed to be formula, but is that true? There's something in there. What is that? Are these empty or full? They feel really light if there's something in there. They are some type of vitamin. Huh. Huh. Maybe we'll just leave that behind because I don't know what that's for. But if you can look in here, it looks like mostly kitchen stuff pots pans dishes things like that so we're just gonna leave it in there let's grab the little box under the rifles and we're gonna see what those rifles are we're gonna get one out at least what is this connecticut kinetic what something uh, <laughs> kinetic something. with a number what is that oh it's just a router i think it's some kind of router yeah there's that let's grab one of these beautiful beautiful what did i just say beautiful? i have no idea beautiful one of these beautiful ones which one let's go you know what I knew this one was a BB gun, so I could tell that was a BB gun. I think this is what threw people off, because this is obviously a BB gun, and the fear was, you get here, they're all BBs, you waste a lot of money. But check out the beautiful Daisy, set it right there. Now, let's get one of the beautiful, oh, like this guy here. That is not a BB gun. Make sure it's clear. That looks like it's gonna be a beautiful little wooden 22. That doesn't even have a magazine spot. It's literally one in, fire it, just like that. That is old school, but absolutely beautiful. This absolute beauty of a gun is a Western Field model M815 in 22. Unfortunately, it's only worth about $150, but still an absolutely beautiful rifle. Do you also see the big mystery black case behind those targets? That's one of the other things that was very intriguing to me. But you know, there's tons of guns. Let's instead look at a crock pot, right? Yeah, yeah. So, no, we're not, we're not gonna really. But that's a nice little crock pot for the RT. Okay, that's enough kitchen, let's pull a gun. Which one do <laughs> we go to? <laughs> this guy right here this one even got a little scope on it check that out cleared out it looks like it does have bring it a little closer a spot for a magazine maybe but it's not in there unfortunately but as you can see the rifle's clear it does have a little scope on it but it does look like again like a really old woodstock 22 that's just cool looking isn't it this beautiful little rifle is called the mossberg and sons inc model 152 in 22 lr even with the scope again this one's only selling for about 150 dollars but it is beautiful and going to our collection these could technically be weapons depending on how creative you are you know <laughs> i mean it doesn't take a lot of creativity to use a knife i guess but there is a nice kitchen knife set really dusty which means just us been in here for quite some time cutting board another sleeping bag right yeah like a camo sleeping bag throw that over here cutting board we'll put it with the kitchen stuff right there and let's see what's in these little boxes is this like the perfect push-up thing yeah perfect push-up who out there is like me you can't even do a regular one anyway so you don't need a perfect push-up <laughs> let's see what's in one of these oh it's the same thing isn't it but this does have the guy's name and address on it this will allow us to look him up you know see if we got a criminal or what's going on we'll definitely look into that turns out he was arrested just a few months ago for driving while impaired m if anyone knows what that m means please let me know in the comments you think there's anything rolled up inside this carpet over here you see that that's kind of a suspect looking thingy there first we got a picture frame i'm gonna open up the back of it really quick because people like to put cash and other things in these because they don't think you'll open it let's just pick the middle one right right uh no i guess this one you'd be able to see it pretty clearly through the front so nothing in there but let's grab that carpet and see if there's anything rolled up because it's very possible come here big boy whoa okay there's a nice leather jacket right there we'll get to in a second check this out Ugh. it is unfortunately unless there's something really small in there let's open it i don't want to run the risk what if there's just cash or a handgun or something small you know let's yeah. see what cash <laughs> told you there's cash rolled up in it oh no unfortunately the rest of it though is just a carpet you can fit in the unit with me yay, yay. i hate the raid especially outdoor units now that you can get in here let's look at some of the stuff over here we got this is just some bobbers fishing hooks things like that fishing equipment this one is what seashells those are all seashells this one more fishing stuff so we'll set those aside tote top that i don't think we even have the tote for all right what is this what is this a little sony dvd player this is a nice Canon printer. Oh, stay here, stay here, stay here. Is it Canon? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything in here? 
open that open up okay one time there could be like money just sitting there you know they're trying to counterfeit money there might be a real one in there i don't know <laughs> let me hope look at this i saw this marine jacket it says world's finest what does it say i can't read it fighting what is that say? force oh um, i don't know there you go that right there pretty jacket now you think there's anything in the cooler it's Hopefully always not food, scary not food, not food, always not food. scary yeah it's okay empty. <laughs> it's nice and empty good because rotting food after months ugh, bad it gets bad behind there we do have a couple fishing or calm down calm down a couple fishing rods with hooks swinging so i'm not trying to get into that two or three now three of them three fishing rods this one's a catch more it literally says shakespeare catch more fish and fishing people take a look at these reels do we have anything that's worth money here? Or are they cheaper ones? Definitely let us know down in the comment section. That rain is getting heavy. I don't know if you can hear it right now over the microphone, but it's getting loud. Check these out though. These are always nice to have. Just is that exactly what it looks like? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. You know what, we will definitely, definitely use this whole box of targets. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate that. But what do you think this is? Seriously, what in the heck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Let's look in here. Let's look in here. Oh, it's heavy. It is heavy. This right here, what is that? A power torque gato? Y you always turn it on the Spanish How side. do I manage to do it every time? <laughs> I don't know. Two ton scissor jack. There we go. <laughs> gato. That's what it said. Oh, that's a target. Look at this. I guess if you want to practice, you know, not shooting the hostage that's that's pretty intense but this is a whole stack of those right here so that's kind of cool i see a lot of paperwork down here in the bottom of here i'm just going to peek in a little bit because the best place to hide cash we found in storage units is in paperwork we found lots of money in cards paper things like that in the past so i always look through it all right at first sight i'm not seeing anything what's this it just looks personalized i'm gonna open this up but obviously uh, it's got pictures on it that's why we'll make sure they get their pictures back but first glance I'm not seeing anything other than just papers. Do I go into the blue tote or use the blue tote to go through the green basket? Green basket and then blue tote. All right, fine. I got, it looks like this looks like I'm Captain America type shield or something, but I think this is just a, uh, what's in there? I saw, get out, what are you? There you go. A little pipe cleaner bracelet. Yeah. And then that, and these are some Reeboks, some Vader shoes. Is this more Target right here? It looks like it's gonna be, that's a science project about pluto okay that shoes clothes Ooh, i see a nike box you think there's shoes in there yes let's see come out Ooh. no it doesn't sound nah. like shoes something's in there though oh a bunch of cards, cards. military cards whoa i've never seen these before it's upside down military asset what year are these from are these newer 1991 so yeah. they're older than me check it out a whole bunch of these military cards and then you got a few uh what do you call it pens look rifle grenade the little rankings that's pretty cool actually that's something i've never found before let's see that what this is here come out come out come out this is well it's supposed to be a complete drawing guide but everything inside's gone so it's garbage unfortunately more shoes this thing christmas <laughs> what is that oh the snorkel oh, cool. yeah then we just have it looks like mostly shoes in there oh there's another gun guys might not be the kind we're looking for but you know it is another gun maybe some type of futuristic alien gun other than that though it just looks like a bunch of junk down there you want some i think these are just pillows aren't they are they just crusty pillows plush. yeah you want some crusty pillows i don't mm, they're nice and sleep on come on you don't want like a spider to crawl on you in your sleep no should we open a tote yeah let's open a tote come on ammo we have guns with no ammo we need ammo oh first sight i see clothes let's look at a couple of the brands what is this guy right here route 66 okay uh let's see <laughs> that looks nice what is this it's wear that now what <laughs> wear that now it's raining pretty bad out there let's see is it all clothes all the way down yeah i'm always looking at these socks and stuff i mean you have to find something in a sock but the one day i don't check it'll happen let's look on this side over here camo jeans these jeans are brand new how much do you pay for your jeans sir they're Nautica jeans, but they don't, they've ripped the price tag off, so they're probably a Christmas gift or something. But those are new. Other than that, I think it's all closed all the way down. Who beheaded my man here? What in the heck happened here? Explain I, this. I, I, I'm, I feel bad for him. But it's I actually think... Daniel Boone. Oh, okay. See that? But like, how does it just like perfectly beheaded? Like that, <laughs> you can't convince me this was an accident. I think I saw his head. Did you really? Right here. Wait, that is his head, isn't it? So we could probably glue them back together. I don't, I think he's, he made a clay or wood or something. I don't know, but look, 
This is his head. So guess hopefully we'll be able to just use some glue. There it is. There you go. Put them right back together and I bet you that'll be a cool little piece. Pick a number, one, two, or three. Which gun do I grab? Two. Two? Let's grab guy in the middle. It looks like, ooh, another bolt action. Make sure that guy's clean. Again, no magazine. These are a lot of like single fire rifles. I'm guessing it's a nice Woodstock 22 rifle. Again, I think this is number three already. So can't complain there. Now that we're looking at this in more detail, we opened it up and you guys gotta realize when you're looking at the thing, it's completely backwards to me. I was like, there's no way that's for a 22. That thing's huge. This is actually a Western Field 15A 410 gauge bolt action shotgun. Only bolt action shotgun I own, so definitely a keeper still absolutely beautiful let's get this big black case now guys you better leave this video a thumbs up right now please and subscribe if you are new because we buy awesome storage units all the time and if we see guns they're ours we buy the unit because i love them and it's so much fun look at this big guy right here it says yamaha yamaha so it's definitely music it looks like a freaking like stupid thing on <laughs> lisa for the simpsons played whatever it is the didn't she play the trumpet did she play the trump out? I've been watching The Simpsons saxophone. forever. Saxophone. Yeah, saxophone. There you go. Um, well, that's what it Whoa. is. A giant. I don't even know the name for it. I feel Jeez, stupid. Look at the condition of it. It's pretty beat up. That's for sure. What happened? It's got a repair tag. <laughs> so I think it was sent in to get it's, repaired. It looks like it fell off a truck. It looks like it fell out of a plane. What do you mean? <laughs> this thing looks like it fell from so high up. But oh. I can imagine it could be repaired yeah. pretty easily. Hopefully, music people. Let me know the value in its current condition because yeah, I have no idea. First time finding one of these in how many years have we been buying units? Five? Yeah. First time I ever found like a trombone looking thing. When I punch the model number into eBay, I see ones beat up just like this one selling for hundreds of dollars. 600 and over 900, just crazy. Guys, what are these things for? Equalizer, fitness, something? The only fitness I'm doing is fitting these nuggets in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even support my weight on this thing right now, but that. Well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're, sh you're too tall for yeah, it. That's that's why, exactly. It has nothing to do with anything else. It's just the height. There's no other excuse. Here's a basket with a giant hook on it. I like your thinking. Uh, what is this? More clothes, it looks like. A lot of camo, which I mean, if the right, this thingy right here didn't give it off, definitely a hunter would be my guess. Look at this. These are bugs. Master, what, caster? Yeah, cast and paint. Oh, so you put like some kind of, I used to do these, remember on um, the old pencil top, the um, pencil cases, people used to put glue in the top and make bookmarks and make them like rubber out of glue. That's what it makes me think of. No. Really? <laughs> you I, didn't live. I can't picture what you're talking about. No. Those pencils, <laughs> hard pencil case. It would be like a perfectly rounded rectangle on the top. You oh yeah, yeah, yeah. glue and you pull it out, it's like a bookmark. Yes, yes. Okay. Never did that. Oh. <laughs> please, please, please. Oh no, this is late. But you know, we can use it to keep these guys safe in the truck ride home. It's four hours from here, so we got some ways to drive. Nice little rifle case. I don't think I don't think any of these are fitting in there, so No. I wonder what was in here originally. That's I don't the question. Know. Okay. It that, looks like more of like an AR. That's what it looks like. That's what case. I was hoping. Maybe it'll be somewhere else in here. Maybe. I don't know. We got the another picture frames. What is this guy? Oven? grill wow it's dirty it's <laughs> definitely been used huh it looks like the grill at the campground it definitely does look like something that for camping so definitely a yard sale item what are we using this bow for we bow hunting elephants like this thing <laughs> is massive i'm guessing because it has all these bands on it it's some type of training thing bow hunters help me you think it's like got different resistances to help you pull back doesn't say I mean, anything they kind of all feel the same it just says a gorilla bow but i mean it's got to be something fitness related or something to help a bow person i guess just get used to the pullback and whatnot maybe ow it kind of hit me <laughs> but yeah that's weird but cool so this is a tent but let's open it up and see make sure it's actually what's in there because this could be anything this could be a billion dollars or four handguns who knows is it actually the tent it's actually a tarp see or is that part of the tent? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a tent. It might be. So we got tent and tarp here. This right here. This is a duck. I see webbed toes. Uh, I don't think this would be appreciated in our area really much. But it looks like a taxidermy. Look at the way it's laying. It's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. A taxidermy duck. I think I was holding it wrong. I think it sits like this. So the duck sits oh. kind of like this. Because it has somebody's name written on here and it's written like this way. So Got I'm it. guessing that's the way this guy's supposed to sit. Whack. <laughs> Check out how many dumbbells we have over here. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, I think, total dumbbells. This over here, I'm not exactly mm. sure what that's gonna be built into, but it's some, definitely something, remember that. Yes, it is. This, I'm guessing, is like a tree stand. Is that, what do you, what you would think? Is it one? Is it? Oh, what? it goes together? Yeah, it's definitely what that is. I'm guessing this is the tree stand, sit up in there and bust you with deer. None of these rifles I think are taking out deer, but maybe he has another unit somewhere. I'm gonna watch this facility. Don't want, <laughs> no one else watch it. <laughs> There's the case. Look at these two beauties. Look at this guy right here. What in the heck is this one? Man, that doesn't even look real. What is this? This, oh, it's got a label on it. Not a toy, this is an air rifle. Huh? Yeah, I could tell. This one definitely, it looks nice though. It's a really nice air rifle. But when I picked it up, I saw this and I was like, that's even smaller than a 22. <laughs> so look at that little guy. This beautiful air rifle has a nice wood stock and is selling for around $100 pre-owned. So not bad. It's cute. It's cute. This one, whoa, that's a much bigger around here. That's a lot bigger. Let's see what this guy is. Come on, Shotgun. 20 gauge, yep. Model 85, 20 gauge. Nice. I never seen a bolt action shotgun. This is my first one I've ever had, but guess who's got one now? Me. This is the beautiful Mossberg 185D bolt action shotgun in 20 gauge. Something again that we do not have, so definitely going in the collection. Let's check out what this little thing right here is. This usually used to hold magazines. I was hoping this would have some in there, but I don't see no magazines on it but that's definitely what it's for put it on like this boom have a bunch of magazines right there that's pretty cool pillow right there truck hitch just like a cast or something last couple boxes oh. Oh, <laughs> well good job. nice box good box this looks like nothing really and last one over here got more weight than i thought it did to it uh <laughs> i think that's what it is actually protein powder or something Protein powder or BB? Uh, oh, I see powder. <laughs> I hope it's powder because it just got in my face. I hope it's protein powder. <laughs> As I'm feeling weird on the drive home, you know what happened. <laughs> All right, screwdriver, straps, and what is this? Chainmail armor? No. <laughs> it's just a bunch of randomness and some paper. 